This is a short presentation about Lumion 3. Other software that is crucial for the intended use of Lumion 3 is SketchUp from Timbler and Revit from Autodesk. Both have a free version online. And you can also find the free version of Lumion 3 on their website. We are going to begin by opening SketchUp 8. At the beginning, we'll have the scale figure that always appears there. We're going to leave that there so we can have a sense of scale for later. Now click on the button that says Add Location. Here we'll take you to this map and we can find the exact address of our worksite or we can type down the intersection. In this case, I'm typing down the intersection Avenue B and 8th Street in San Antonio. Now once we hit search, it will take us to that exact intersection as you can see. Now here we can zoom out to start seeing a little bit of context. All the buildings that are surrounding the worksite. Here we can see the AT&T Center, I think that's a really important building to add. Uh, the river, other buildings here. And everything we want to include adjacent to our area. So we put on, we click on grab, grab region. We select the region. We can zoom out a little bit to add more things, like the AT&T building. We adjust the region and then we click on grab. Now the center of this selection becomes also uh, where all the axes of symmetry collide. In this example, the red, the blue and the green. And there's also our scale figure that I talked about earlier, so we can have a sense of scale of all the site. Now we have to go to the Tools tab and then click on Access. With this tool we can help ourselves work faster with the satellite picture because we can rearrange the direction of the axis to that of the buildings in the picture. This is way faster. So as you can see, now the axis, the green and the red, they are facing the same direction of our blocks and with the rectangle tool we can create buildings. We make a rectangle just as the plans as we have on the picture and then with the push pull tool we give some dimension, some height to these rectangles. So as you can see we, we have now something more 3D added to the picture. Now we have a sense of space. Now, regarding the AT&T building, we can use Google Earth to our advantage. And that's what we'll do now. We open Google Earth and on the top left search bar, we type down the exact address of our location or the intersection of streets. In this case, I'm doing again the intersection Avenue B and 8th Street. And always remember to type down San Antonio as well. If you don't type down San Antonio, it will take you God knows where. So now it's zooming in automatically to the location. And there it is. You may see that it's a little bit different, but it's okay. Just Google Earth shows more 3D stuff. And there is our AT&T building. Now I want you to click on top where it says uh, history of imagery. And once you click there, now you're able to select the building. And it will take you just uh, about three or five seconds for it to display the address. And there it goes. That's the address. So we're going to select the address and right click copy. Now once we copy this, we can go back to SketchUp. Here in SketchUp, go to the button that says Get Models from the Warehouse and right click Paste. Now hit Search and you will have the AT&T building there. Now just select it and download Model. Load directly into SketchUp. And this is very handful because it places the building exactly at the location it should be. So what I'm going to do next is close this project and open it again. Now I'm opening a project that I did on the past and it actually is the same location, but of course is now more elaborate. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the layer of the Google Earth snapshot, the satellite image. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the rest of the layers. So you can see the new additions that I did to the site. You can see up there the AT&T building. And as I keep on turning on layers, you keep seeing uh, new stuff added to the model. And again, it's about the level of detail that you decide to go with when you start modeling the work site. But uh, maybe I went a little bit too far with this. But again, SketchUp is a really simple tool. It's really easy to learn how to use it. So most of you might say, why not? So that's what I did. And here you can see everything around the work site. So now you have a sense of space. You feel more comfortable knowing what goes around the work site. I'll go ahead and export this 3D model. So you go ahead and, and click uh, File, Export, and choose 3D model. And then on the export type, the file has to be Colada. We could choose the Google Earth file as well, but in this case, we need the Colada because Lumion 3 works only with Colada files. Now, just as a bonus, I'll show you something really cool. On the top bar, you find the Google Earth tool. This tool exports your SketchUp model into Google Earth. As you can see, we are now navigating inside Google Earth. So you have the rest of the world, the 3D uh, buildings around it. And also it overlays your model on top of the exact coordinates for your satellite image. This is something really cool. I'm just hovering the pointer on top of some of my buildings. So you see it recognizes it as data. This is something really cool. So I'll just go ahead and and discard this, close this, and we can also close the SketchUp model as well because we already have the Colada file down here on the bottom left. Now, my friends, it's time to move on with Revit. Before opening Revit 2013, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where you can find the Colada exporter. First, we have to go to the Lumion's webpage, which is lumion3d.com. Now, here on the top right, you can find the support option. Click on it and scroll down to find the Revit exporter right in the middle. Once you click on this uh, Revit exporter option, it gives you a brief explanation of how this exporter works, which is real simple. It also gives you two options at the end the exporter for 2012 and the exporter for Revit 2013. I'm just going to go ahead and open the Revit 2013 since I already downloaded and installed it in the past. I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, sample. Everyone has this example on the Revit. And right now it's not this. This is not the default view. It looks like, but it's not and I click on add ins and as you can see everything is disabled so in order to enable everything we have to click on the default 3d view now I'm going to uh, delete the topography because Lumion has a really cool topography and as you can see on the top left everything is enabled so go ahead and go external tools collat exporter and then click on export and I'll give this file a name I'm going to choose Revit Colada Sample. I'm going to save it on the desktop and click Save. Once the progressive bar finishes loading, it will close itself. And we can go ahead and close Revit 2013 as well because we have no further use for this project so we don't have to uh, save any changes. And here on the desktop you can see now the Colada file for Revit and we also have here the Colada file for the SketchUp. So now my friends, it's time to move on to Lumion.